Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Bernie and I will share with you how I managed to set up my Sony ZV-1 to have the s tone setting. Let's go! First is a shout out to Mark Bennett of uh, Mark Bennett's Camera Crisis. Also a big shout out to Paul of Extra Shot who created the settings and made all these possible. And I will put the links uh, for uh, both videos for you to check out. Again, these settings are not mine. I'm just doing this for a comparison and which picture profile works best for my workflow. All right, first is let's go ahead and test it out. And please note guys huh, that this test is not scientific in any way, just a real world comparison and scenario. As per Sony, S Cinetone provides images with a more cinematic look in tone and color for the video world. Yeah. Yeah guys, what it does is to give you a picture profile that you can use straight away. No color grading needed, but still guys, you can add LUTs for sure or even tweaked in post depending on your usage. Unfortunately for this Sony ZV-1, this one doesn't have that S Cinetone feature or color profile, only the A7S III recently with the updated firmware and the FX3 out of the box as well as the higher end cameras like the FX9 which is by the way the first camera to have it. And how about for talking head videos? So let's do it right about now. And as for information, the main setting that I use for vlogging and for talking head videos like this one is the one from Sydney Byung Son, another uh, YouTuber, where I am using his portrait creative style with the picture profile set to off. I just actually uh, tweak the contrast to minus three so it won't be too much in my taste. Please note guys that the sample video clips you'll see here are not color graded in any way. So this S Cinetone from Paul's setting was from the Cine4 picture profile and since the Sony ZV-1 doesn't have that, unfortunately, I will just do it using both the Cine1 and Cine2 picture profile and see if I'll be able to get the same quality or color. So I will put the settings from Paul in the description box below so you can tweak yours too if you want. Now let's take a look at them all together.
guys, which one do you like best? I'm actually leaning towards the Cine 2 here and the portrait creative style that I've been using. So what do you guys think from now on, huh? For me, I'm now going to be using the Cine 2 with the S Cine Tone setting. I like it a lot and I'm just going to add a little bit of LUT as well as a little bit of contrast. And uh, the LUT that I'm going to use is the Cassette, right? From uh, Latify Me Contemporary Color Films Professional Package. With minimal color grading or if you just add LUTs, you will definitely get a very nice image. So right now, here's how to set the Cine 2 to have that S Cinetone look. So guys, I'm not gonna show you the other settings. Right now, I'm just gonna go straight to it. So first thing to do is to look for this camera icon and it's number one. And then we're gonna go to page nine of 12. So to do that is to press this one right here and then look for page nine. As you can see, it's moving. So go down to picture profile and as you can see here, different picture profiles, huh? So we are going to choose picture profile number six and this one has the Cine 2 Gamma. So in this case, we're going to change the black level to minus 10. Okay, that's set ready and then Gamma is Cine 2. Next is black Gamma to range wide and then level to minus one and then menu again the knee is set to manual go to manual set choose 100 percent and then slope to zero then color mode you'll choose pro here and then saturation is minus two Color face is zero. Color depth, see here, RGB, CMY. You will change the value of each letter. So for R, it's supposed to be plus three. Next G is plus one. Next B is minus one. And C is minus one, as well as M minus one. And Y is plus one. And now let's go back. Now go to detail level set to minus seven all right so yeah that's about it guys and now we'll copy this one and paste it to pp5 and then we'll go to pp5 see it's the same you just have to change this one to cine one and you're good to go so there you go guys what do you think which one do you like best? Are you guys liking the Cine 2 with the S Cine Tone setting like me? Yeah, let me know in the comment section below and let's discuss. Alright, there you go. That's about it, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell icon as well to be notified with more awesome videos. Alright, so this has been Bernie. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.